Hello and welcome. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can update your 1.6.4 map to 1.7.2. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I thought that when you went from 1.6.4 to 1.7.2, you would have smooth transitions between biomes, uh, between the new biomes and the old biomes, but apparently it doesn't. So. Uh, with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the tool MC Merge to, um, yeah, update your map to 1.7.2 so you can expand it. So as you can see, I uh, uh, in 1.6.4 now, and I uh, used World Border to uh, create a 100 by 100 uh, fill in my world, uh, so to automatically generate some chunks. I recommend doing this before updating to 1.7.2 because then you don't have missing chunks uh, between 1.6.4 um, and it makes things a bit uh, look a bit more natural uh, so yeah so before you uh, start running the map in 1.7.2 you have to use the tool MC merge and yeah I'm going to show you that in a second okay so um, the first thing you have to do um, is download uh, MC merge dot x uh, mc merge uh, when you're using windows you have to you will have these two files mc merge dot x mc merge open library open lib uh, but when you're using linux uh, you just have the mc merge print python file uh, and yeah you will have to install some packages if you're running on linux uh, but when you you when you're running running the uh, tool on Windows, you don't need to install anything. So um, I'm going to go to my server directory. So I've put those two files in my server root, uh, and now I'm going to run the tool. So before uh, you update your map to 1.7.2, uh, MC Merge needs to uh, remember uh, the contours of your 1.6.4 map. So when you render new chunks in 1.7.2 it uh, can merge those different chunks together so to do that use MC merge then trace and then the name of your world um, or the path of your world so I'm running it inside my root so I only need to type world um, if you named your world differently uh, you can just change that so this will oh okay uh, this will save the contours of my world so it saved it now if you look into the uh, world folder you see contour pin that and that's the file uh, that will be used to create the merge now the next thing you will do uh, so I'm still in 1.6.4 I'm going to stop now uh, is to stop your map so that's very important uh, you stop your map uh, and now I'm going to start it in 1.7 point in 1.7 so I'm running 1.7 vanilla here because bucket isn't out yet okay uh, I need to start the game again Okay, so that's very important that you don't render 1.7.2 chunks uh, before running the trace command. So um, I'm going to start the map now. I'm going to go to the edge. Oh, oh, okay, that wasn't planned. Okay, so I am, I think I am at the edge, uh, so, okay, let's go into this direction, and we, sh we should start to generate some 1.7.2 chunks, and you'll see what will happen. So we're walking, or flying, and we should be able to see it, ah, okay, so, as you can see those uh, 
cliffs are 1.7.2 chunks and yeah they look very very ugly um, they hit this so I'm rendering those now um, let's render a bit more okay some chunks here so as you can see the uh, transitions between 1.7.2 and 1.6.4 aren't amazing um, they, it's just a cliff or if you're lucky you might get uh, uh, yeah it's actually very ugly so let's render a bit more some cliffs over here as well okay oh this is a good one okay so I think we have enough for this test uh, let's stop the server uh, oh, this is the file I'm searching for okay um, so now what you're going to do to merge the world at uh, the 1.7.2 and 1.6.4 chunks together you use uh, the same tool but this time you use merge you type world um, this process can take very long so uh, as I said I have a 100 by 100 map uh, map but uh, most servers don't have that's uh, if you have a lot bigger maps and it can take very very long uh, for example uh, on my 8 by 8k uh, map I had 22,000 uh, chunks that need to be merged that need to be merged so this is 308 and it takes a few seconds but yeah so once it's finished once this is finished it will also relight those strings so uh, you don't have that black uh, black holes uh, I it, it, it will remove the lightning bugs so it's doing that right now and again this can take very 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 long but once it's finished the result will be uh, cool. So okay, it's. I think it's finished right now. Almost, skylight. Okay, come on. Almost completed. Is it completed? No, not yet. Okay, it's completed. So I'm going to start 1.7 again. Okay, it's starting up and those cliffs will now be smoothed out so as you can see there was a cliff here it's been smoothed um, the process isn't entirely bug free for example um, if I go look in water uh, those chunks underwater are still uh, cliffs uh, but yeah you, you don't notice that on first sight so as you can see those ugly ugly ass cliffs are now completely generated there are a lot more options with the MC merge tool uh, but I don't know them all uh, but you can for example uh, force uh, mine uh, force the uh, minecraft MC merge tool to add rivers between the uh, 1.7.2 biomes but as, as I said before I don't know exactly uh, how to do that and you can see everything on the wiki so as you can see those cliffs are now smoothed out and yeah you don't really notice uh, the difference between 1.6.4 and 1.7.2 chunks um, if you're on rivers or something like that uh, the only place where you can spot it is uh, when having an ocean between it or something uh, then you have those underwater cliffs but yeah it's looking great and um, this is a great tool if you're planning to upgrade your map from 1.6.4 to 1.7.2. And yeah, um, make sure to subscribe, subscribe, and yeah, see you soon. My secure.